Hey there, welcome back to The Magic and the Music. I'm Jen. I'm Randall. We are going to be talking about our very first Run Disney event. This year we did the virtual Star Wars Rival Run. All right, so this year's Star Wars Rival Run was supposed to occur on the weekend of April 15th to 18th, but obviously it was switched to a virtual event. Yeah. Well, I thought this was an opportunity, a perfect opportunity for us to participate in our first Run Disney event, so I went ahead and registered the kids and me, yeah. and you opted out of this one. Yeah, I opted out, but I'm wearing the medal. Who so. cares? We'll, I can, share, I we'll share the medal anyway. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Um, I think in retrospect, maybe you... I mean, we should have registered you too. But yeah, he was just like, oh, go ahead and do uh, it. Yeah. So we went ahead and registered for the event, not having done any kind mm -hmm. of event before and also not knowing what to expect out of a virtual event. So, um, and we're not really runners or anything. We don't typically yeah. do these things. So um, it was it was a fun experience and we're going to mm -hmm. kind of talk you through it and let you know what it was like. So we registered our children for two different kids mm -hmm. events. Uh, our five-year-old, we registered for the 200 meter dash. They actually have a 100 meter dash for one to four year olds. They have a 200 meter dash for the five to eight year old group. And then there's a diaper dash for 12 months and under. Diaper dash? I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You're like, uh, if I stick something in front of them, maybe they'll know. go towards it. I don't know it. what's up with that. If you've done the diaper <laughs> dash, tell us in the comments so, so we know what's up yeah. with that. Um, this event was a $20 registration fee and the kids get a medal and they get a t-shirt, like a regular cotton t-shirt. We also registered our seven-year-old for the one mile run. Yeah. This event is open for four to 13-year-olds and the cost is $30 and participants get a medal and a t-shirt as well. Um, we could have had our daughter do the 200 meter dash as mm -hmm. well, but I, she um, trains a lot with her aunt who's a runner and her yeah. cousins who are runners, so uh, we knew she could easily do the yeah, mile. Yeah, she could easily do a mile. Yeah, so it was no problem. Plus, my other thinking was that like I wanted them to have different yeah. medals and different shirts, so that's how we were able to do that. Yeah. And this was only $30, so how'd you feel about the cost for this one? I thought this was a pretty good value as well. Um, both of these sh shirts are con, and for the most part, if you bought these shirts at Disney, it'd be pretty much Probably the same 20, price. 20, 20 bucks maybe, you know? yeah. But between the price for the shirt and the metal, you know, yeah. if you can start like kind of like a giant pin, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good way to look at it actually. And I actually registered for the 5K virtual run. And um, I'm not really a runner at all. <laughs> I've kind of have 
stages where I'll go through and run a bit. Um, I come from a family of runners, though, so yeah. a lot of people do marathons, even ultras, so I'm, I'm kind of the non-runner in the family. <laughs> um, but, you know, I knew I could squeeze out a 5K if I needed to, so that's mm. the race that I went with. Um, I ended up having some stuff come up, some life got in the way a little yeah. bit yeah. Um, after I registered for this one, and so we ended up doing the event a whole lot later than it yeah. was intended. Way, way after it, and... This is one of the dilemmas, actually, I think, with the virtual run, is that there isn't anything, like, pushing you. Yeah. Like, you don't have a hotel reservation, so it's not, like, on your calendar. Yeah. So life can really get in the way easily. And it, it did. Yeah. Although, you know, this year has been a, a it's, crazy yeah. year anyway. All of that has gone and in the way. a lot of life got in the way, but, but we finally did get it done, yeah. you know, about a month late. <laughs> 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 but we did it. So there are two options when you register for the 5K. Mm -hmm. They have the Galaxy option, which is $40, and that gives you the medal, the certificate, a digital toolkit, a digital goodie bag, and mm -hmm. a virtual playlist. Um, but in terms of tangible things, you get just the medal. Um, and I actually went with the More Galaxy. More Galaxy? More? How does that work? Okay, option, <laughs> and it was $75, and that gave me the medal, which he's wearing here, and also this t-shirt, which is um, a nice t-shirt. Like shirt. it's that kind of, yeah, like tech fabric. One thing I wish is I wish I could have chosen a men's t-shirt. Maybe that was an option and I missed it, but mm. because I'm quite tall, the women's shirts, um, they'll fit me, you know, side to side, but they're a little bit on the short side, so I wish I could have chosen a men's size instead. Maybe you should have registered as a dude. I don't know. <laughs> it's one well, strategy. Well, there's a tip for you. <laughs> All right. So maybe you, if you know, if you are able to choose different, you know, men's or women's shirts, mm -hmm. maybe put that in the comments because maybe that's just something that I missed because I'm brand new at this. So our thoughts about this event being virtual. I know some people are disappointed because they yeah. normally run it in person. Mm -hmm. For us, this was literally the only way that we could do this. So it was kind of a, a cool opportunity actually yeah. for us. So, I mean, I'm glad it was virtual, but like you said... Yeah, the it's motivation is the harder. motivation is harder. You don't have something kind of uh, something at the end of the journey, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like staring you down, right? So you don't have to like prepare for it and all that stuff, and you don't have like a crowd. So you really got to motivate yourself. Yeah. So you kind of got to be a self motivator, and then some of the other things with it are that you get the virtual goodie bag, um, which is basically kind of like some discounts for like an Otter Box that's customized, and then you get also a um, a virtual kit which is like you can print out a bib and put mm -hmm. it on and you know that's but I'm not gonna destroy my print cartridge <laughs> so something else with the digital toolkit is that really you have to like print out mile markers and like a finish line thing and you know I, I don't know who's gonna do that I'm not creating more work for you and me <laughs> yeah. we already have enough work with two kids this is this is it's too much it's kind of a lot yeah exactly <laughs> So I, I can see why not. we didn't want to do that. So yeah. we're just like, okay, we'll take the tangible physical things, but yeah. the digital stuff, we kind of left it. Also, um, we were a little confused about the playlist. Yeah. And then I emailed uh, customer support for Run Disney, and they just said, look on Spotify for the playlist. Yeah. And he found it. <laughs> yeah. So and all it was really just a playlist of Star <laughs> yeah. Wars, which... I listen to all the time anyway. Yeah. So it wasn't really anything new for me. Well, it, it was... It was kind of disappointing because, you know, I was, like, expecting something special with, like, oh, here's kind of, like, a true, not just, like, a playlist of different songs, but maybe, like, something that's, like... Curated? Sequen you yeah. Want it curated. Yeah, a little curated, a little sequenced, you know, kind of prepared for, like, oh, here's the 5K one, you know, and here's the, uh, the Dash one that's, like, really upbeat and quick, you know, or something like that. So, it, you know, that was kind of... Um, a disappointment for me but on the plus side is that if you aren't planning on doing this race uh, you can just search for that playlist on Spotify yeah, there you, and you can find it all you have to search for is uh, run Disney uh, Star Wars rival run yes yes <laughs> <laughs> another thing is that in terms of having a virtual toolkit and all these other virtual things I personally expected something with like a video in terms of like uh, walking you through kind of the event, mm -hmm. um, you know, what it was like to be there in person, but we didn't really receive anything like that. No, I think that could be partly because this was supposed to originally be an in-person event and then they switched it to a virtual event. That's kind of my guess is that they kind of had to pivot, mm -hmm. but yeah, I agree. It, it was a little bit, 
Yeah, I agree with you. I think because they switched it over from being an in-person event mm-hmm. to a virtual event, I think that they had to make a pivot, and they, it didn't seem like they were totally prepared for that. And yeah, there was a brief video that they put mm-hmm. out about just the whole event, but it was just sort of, I don't know, it felt a little awkward and forced. Yeah. So, you know, it, it they could have done better there. I'm sure that people were scrambling to make it work in a virtual yeah. format. So I guess we'll give them some, cut them some yeah. slack. Okay, so was the virtual Star Wars rival run worth it? Well, I would say for the kids' races, yeah. it was actually a pretty good value because you got a medal and you got a T-shirt. In terms of the adult 5K, mm-hmm. um, and I got the one that was $75 and I got the shirt and the medal, like it was okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, yeah. it, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. It, I think for me, it really depends on the metal. I do yeah. really like the metal. It's very cool. Yeah. And we'll show some close-ups here so you can see what's on the metal. I think if it's a metal you love, then it's really worth it. If mm-hmm. it's a metal that you're not that into, then it's maybe not that worthwhile. Yeah. And one other thing is that the kid's metal is actually not metal. It's, right. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's rubber. It's actually kind of rubber. Yeah. So, I mean, on one hand, it's uh, maybe a little bit safer, but on the other, you're kind of like, oh, it's a little, a little cheap cheaper yeah our kids are big though i can see if you had real little kids like you'd want something lightweight yeah. so and safe like you don't want a kid swinging around a big metal yeah metal 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 <laughs> <laughs> so i can understand that well run disney didn't exactly set up an exciting day of event mm-hmm. and video but you know who did our fellow youtubers over at wish upon a run this channel is fantastic they have all kinds of amazing mm-hmm. run Disney videos, and then they have different walks and runs in the parks and throughout the resorts, and it's just so cool. They have fantastic video. They did a special live stream event. Now, like we said, we did this after the fact, so we went back and watched mm-hmm. their live stream event, but it was really, really fun. They created it specifically to pair with this event. Um, so for me, doing the 5K on mostly on the treadmill, that was actually a really, that's a perfect way to do it. It made it yeah. like, so much more fun um, to get the commentary from Wish Upon a Run. They did the live stream with a green screen presentation like behind mm-hmm. them. And then they had their treadmill cam, so they went and got on the treadmill. And I just really loved it. It made it feel really special. And that's what I wish mm-hmm. Disney had done. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's too bad that somebody, a fan, fans had to do that instead yeah. of Disney. Come on, Disney. <laughs> You got this. <laughs> but thank you so much to Wish Upon a Run. You are doing fantastic work, and we are really impressed, and we will definitely be back to watch more of your videos. Yeah. So we will be sure to link their channel in the description below. Will we do this again? Uh, if they do another virtual one, I think so. Yeah, well, it would have to be virtual for us because we can yeah. never travel during the normal Run Disney events. And I would say the medals and shirts and things have to be really yeah. appealing to us. Yeah, if yeah. it's the right theme. Yeah, there you go. And apparently they're going to be re- rebranding this one mm-hmm. um, from Star Wars Rival Run to something else. So it's really going to depend a lot on the theme that they, they choose. Mm. Yeah, so we'll have to wait and see what that new theme is going to be. Have you done a Run Disney event? We would love to hear from mm-hmm. you. So be sure to tell us in the comments below what your experience has been with Run Disney. Did you do this event? Are you going to do future events? We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us today on The Magic and the Music. We will see you again soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.